Okay, so here we are in mid-February, and in Toronto, which is where I live, they have just announced that they're extending the stay-at-home order until mid-March, or sometime in early March. Not surprising, like expected, but at the same time really frustrating. I mean, I get it, but it's just like, ugh. Like, it, so with the stay-at-home order, we're like literally supposed to stay at home. It's like, do not leave your house. If you do leave your home, it's because you have to go, go to the grocery store or drugstore or for health reasons. But other than that, you don't leave your house. Like you're not supposed to be socializing with people that you don't live with and more. And so, and we're also in the thick of winter. We're gonna hit one year in mid-March of the, the whole COVID lockdown experience anyhow. And I can tell you like person to person, client to client, like every friends, People I talk to on the daily, this is a really hard time. So first of all, if you are struggling, you are not alone. This is a really, really challenging moment because it's been a long time, it's cold as F, it's it, like for a lot of us, you can't leave your house, so it's boring as F and more. And so I, I can, if, if what I'm saying is resonating with you, know that you're not alone, I'm feeling it too. But I wanna offer a reframe today because I've been thinking a lot about this for in my own journey around how this is a really hard time because it's been almost a year and the same shit day in, day out, blah, blah, blah. Anyhow, so a few reframes for you or to help you take this difficult moment and make it more positive. First of all, here's what I, I keep telling myself. In six weeks, it's going to be April. And when April comes, it's spring. So like, if you just think about that alone, like in six weeks, it's gonna be so much warmer and it's gonna be April and then we're into spring and then that means, going for nice walks and flowers and blossoming trees and birds chirping and so much more. And so I'm like, I'm about this. I'm about how spring is just around the corner and six weeks flies by like this, as you may know. So that's the first thing I've been telling myself. The second thing I've been telling myself is this, in six weeks, it's going to be spring. It's gonna be April and you're gonna to want to be out and about now, evenings and weekends as opposed to right now where it's like minus a million and it's too cold and it's dark as F and you don't wanna go anywhere at night, so just watch more Netflix. So when spring comes in six weeks, what are the things that you wanna do in your house, in your home that you won't wanna do when it's spring? Because when it's spring, you're going to want to be out and about. So because of that, I'm like, oh, right. Like, you know, that cupboard, I should really clean it. Or I really should get that sorted. Or I really should finish reading that book or whatever, whatever. So use the next six weeks as a way to get the things done that you will be less likely to do once you the world does start to open up a bit more and you can be out and about. What are those things that you want to be doing now? And that will help to fill your time. And then the third thing I've been thinking about is, Given that in six weeks it's gonna be April and it's gonna be spring, and I'm gonna be, I'm going to want to be out and about. What are the things I'm gonna to want to do out and about that I can start preparing for now, or be planning for now, or thinking about? So, for example, uh, the moment I can do this, I'm gonna start biking outside again because I have a bike and. It's funny because pre-COVID, I would say I would go bike riding, bike riding like I'm 13, bike riding like I'd say like maybe once or twice a month. Whereas now I'm like, I'm gonna go bike riding like once or twice, a few times a week for sure. So I'm like, I better get my bike ready, but also I should get myself physically ready so that I'm like, I can actually ride my bike out and about. The other thing I was thinking about is the moment it gets warmer in April and, uh, and, I, and I can get back out there, I want to go for hikes and go for go um, check out some of the trails uh, a few hours outside of Toronto and more. So now I'm starting to do research on where can I go hiking in April. And so basically this reframe around how I can be using this moment instead of just uh, being miserable and having pity party after pity party, how can I reframe this? as preparation for what's to come, enjoying this moment as much as possible. And I, I'm gonna throw out there, it's really helped me. So I just wanted to offer this to you if you're experiencing what a lot of people, most of us are experiencing in this really, really difficult moment. So I hope this helps and as always, I'd love to hear from you. So let me know what you think.